And just a very quick update video based on the video I posted at the weekend where I was having a first look at the Stella Lyra 4.5 inch f4 imaging Newtonian. It became quite apparent early in the week that coma correctors weren't reaching focus with this so it's not looking too promising from the from a astrophotography point of view. Um, I've tested the Barda coma corrector Monday yesterday didn't quite reach focus. I had this telescope pointed at a distant rooftop in the daytime. Um, I, had, I tried with my Sony A6100, which I'm recording on now, and my ASI 585 camera with the correct backspacing for the camera. And it was just, it was getting there. The rooftop was starting to sort of like resolve. You could see it was a rooftop, but it wasn't crisp and sharp. So it was just a few mil off reaching focus. So then I ordered I promptly ordered the TS GPU because it's touted as having the effect of pushing the focus 20 mils out, which is quite a long way. So I thought that would do the trick. And it, I tested that today and it didn't. And I've had a customer report that their sharp star coma corrector doesn't reach focus at all either. So after a bit of investigation yesterday and today, I think we've concluded from another retailer that sells this exact model, TS, that the it's only really the paracore by teleview that works with this telescope and that's very expensive it's about 545 pounds and this is a 299 pound uh, imaging newtonian in brackets so that's not really feasible in my mind so we're, we're looking i'm going to test the stella lyra photovisual coma corrector which is winging its way to me now i'll test that tomorrow but I'm not particularly hopeful. We are also investigating uh, the possibility of using an inverse adapter because the the collar on the, the draw tube will unscrew. So we might be able to have some kind of inverse adapter to allow a, a coma corrector to sit slightly inside the focus so it can reach focus. But I just needed to get this video out because obviously three and a half, four thousand 4,000 people watched that video and some of, the, some of you might be thinking about purchasing this and I need to get this information out there so you're fully aware of what's happening with this. Now, I'm in a weird situation here because I'm both a customer who was keen to jump on this and I'm also a help desk employee for First Light Opti Optics. So I've got like one foot in as a customer and a foot in as a, an employee here for First Light Optics. Um, the customer being, I was keen to see this, I bought it with my own money and I've, I've bought the TS Coma Corrector to try and resolve this with my own money as well. But the, the Stella Lyra Coma Corrector has been sent to me just to test them. I've not bought that one. Um, but on the side of being an employee, I need to apologize for, for this. This has been quite a mistake. And I mean, it's difficult it's difficult to say how this has happened, but I mean, reflecting on it, we've added quite a lot of GSO telescopes to our range and never had any kind of problem. And we've fed this back to GSO and they've not actually had much feedback regarding this telescope. So I don't think they knew to sort of like let us know. So I think it was just sort of one of the one of those things that's kind of crept through the net. Like as a company, if we spot a telescope that's that's got a potential for being problematic we tend to bench test them like if we get like complex multi-element refractors we think oh they could be a bit tricky we'll, we'll 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 bench test them to make sure they're right before they go out to customers but with something that was labeled as a straightforward imaging newtonian it didn't kind of cross our mind that it wouldn't reach focus with a coma corrector i'm not saying that's an excuse but that was how we've ended up in this situation so it's come as a, a big shock that you know it, it didn't reach focus with the average everyday coma corrector. It needs a special coma corrector, or at least it needs some kind of adapter adding onto it so we can use an everyday coma corrector. I'm not giving up on this yet. There's a few things to try, but I need to let people know as soon as possible what's going on with this because, you know, I'm partly responsible. I've, I work for First Light Optics and I've made a video unboxing and doing a first light about this. So, you know, I'm putting the idea of this telescope out there. So I need to get this video out 
as quick as possible just to let you guys know what the situation is and please just leave your questions in the chat below and or contact us on the help desk at First Light Optics and um, we'll, we'll do the best to, we can to help. Um, I'll leave it there because it's been a very long day and I, I can feel my mind going now. So I'll just leave it there for now. All right, catch you later. Bye.